Now to discuss issues heralding the 2019 elections and the state of the nation, we have joining us via Skype a presidential aspirant and the, the platform of the Young Progressive Party. I'm talking about Professor Kingsley Mughalu. Thank you for joining us on TVC News Hour. Now, there are so many issues really uh, that are around politics in Nigeria every election year. Talk about the education sector, uh, health, security, and of course, uh, the talk about uh, corruption as well. But politics, again, is taking center stage as we move to 2019. What should be the focus right now for things to be done pretty much quickly in 2018 before the election? Well, thank you very much. First of all, let me correct you. I am not a presidential aspirant. I'm a presidential candidate of the YPP, um, having been elected at the party's uh, primaries. Now, the 2019 elections, our focus now should be on making sure that the 2019 elections are credible and transparent. Everything that this government is doing gives us cause for worry. The president, Muhammad Buhari, has refused to accent to the Electoral Amendment Act. And that is something that would have made the 2019 elections much more superior in its credibility and transparency to anything we've had in the past. Electronic voting, card reader technology, um, electronic collation of votes, these are things that would give us confidence in the democratic process in this country. And our president has chosen to side against transparency. And I think this is something we should interrogate him about. What is he afraid of? Why doesn't he want to sign the Electoral Amendment Bill? What, what's the problem with transparency in this government? They brought him the, elect, uh, the Petroleum Industry Governance Bill, which would have made the process of allocating oil blocks much more transparent and reorganize the oil industry. He also refused to sign it. So I think we should measure people not by their words, by their, but by their actions. Nigerians have every cause to worry about whether or not the 2019 elections will be credible and transparent or whether they will be rigged. Okay, let's talk about uh, restructuring here. Now, in your book, Build, Innovate and Grow, you highlighted yes. plans for uh, Nigeria's economic prosperity and upliftment. Now, there have been several calls by uh, presidential candidates and uh, bodies all around the country calling for a restructuring of the entire nation. Is this the way to go? Without question, Nigeria cannot make any progress without constitutional restructuring so that powers are devolved to the federating units and so that people can take care of themselves and control their destinies. We will continue to depend exclusively on oil for as long as Nigeria is a unitary state in practice. That's the problem. Without restructuring, it will be difficult to transform Nigeria's economy. The six geopolitical zones should be geoeconomic zones as well. Each one of them has economies of scale. People can trade and manufacture inside the regions and between the regions. And this is what will make our economy much more productive. Each region should keep its own resources, resource control, and pay part of it as a tax to the central government. All right. Now, earlier you talked about uh, judging people by their actions and not by their words, paraphrasing. Now, you were part of the pact arrangement where Feladrutui emerged as the candidate. And I wonder now, because you just told me earlier that you're still the presidential, you're now the presidential candidate of YPP. Now, should Nigerians take you by your words if you're saying yes, that should. you're not going to honor the agreement? No, no. There's no question of not honoring the agreement. The process was not handled well. The process was fundamentally flawed. And that, that is why, being a man of my word, someone who does not trans tolerate lack of transparency, I have to move on. And by the way, you should know that the arrangement included the right of any aspirant to move on in line with our constitutional rights, if you so wish. So contrary to what you're saying, I actually acted on the path of honor. Okay, looking at the political system and the insecurity all over the country, uh, what do you think this government can do to solve this problem? Earlier in our bulletins, we read about uh, the, the, the insurgents uh, saying that uh, they, were not going to, they were going to kill uh, Leah Sharibu 
uh, still in custody. So what do you think can be done? What can be done is a number of things. First of all, um, Nigeria's security machinery needs to be professionalized. Right now, the leadership of Nigeria's security agencies is determined not on the basis of professional, of professional competence, but on the basis of parochial considerations. So for as long as 16 out of Nigeria's 17 security agencies are headed by people from a small part of the country, it, it does not create confidence among the citizens that this country is being secured for the security of our citizens. Um, there is a difference between securing the regime and securing ordinary Nigerians. So that's number one. Number two, I think we should reform our borders. Our borders are very porous, and I think we need to reform border security in this country. Uh, number three, I believe that we need to, as I've said, I will do when I become president, I will establish a brand new Nigerian police force with 1.5 million men and women to secure our country. So these are very practical steps that I will take. They will be equipped, they will be trained, they will be recruited. Nigeria today is a failing state, that's just the truth. We pretend about it, but everything around us tells us that our country is failing. And if the 2019 results, election results, do not bring in a new visionary type of leadership committed to the unity of Nigeria, committed to the prosperity of Nigeria, committed to restoring our place All in right, the world, Professor. then we have a problem. Okay, Professor Kingsley Mogalu, the presidential candidate of the Young Progressive Party, thank you for your analysis on TVC News. Hour. It's promising to add about 1.5 million 